Welcome to our lecture online. Once in a while, in the quantum mechanic world, you'll see something and you almost cannot believe your eyes. And here's one of those examples. Now, it's perfectly normal to expect that if there's a potential barrier, even though the energy of the particle is greater than the barrier itself, you expect some of the particles to reflect, and that's actually what's happening, although in the, in the real world, and macro world, that wouldn't even happen. As long as the energy of the particle is greater than the energy of the barrier, all particles, 100% of the particles, will make it across the barrier. In quantum mechanics, that's not the case. A portion of the particles will reflect, so at this point, we're kind of accepting that. But what if the barrier is actually a negative barrier? What if the potential on region 1 is larger than the potential in region 2? Will there then be any kind of reflection of particles? And the answer is yes, there will be a reflection. And now you're saying that's just not possible. Well, the reason why that is possible is that the coefficient of reflection is actually a function of the difference in the wave numbers squared. So even if k2 is greater than k1, so that k1 minus k2 is a negative number. Since the numerator is squared, that makes it positive again, which means in the quantum mechanic world, if there's a step down in the potential, there will still be a reflection. Matter of fact, if the difference between the two is the same as if it was a positive step up, for example, if the step up was in such a way that the difference from here to there, as long as there's a little bit of additional energy of the particles, so that some of the particles can continue. Let me try to make that a little bit clearer. Let me make this a little bit lower like that. So let's say that this difference here is exactly the same as that difference. The number of particles being reflected would be exactly the same. So it doesn't matter if it's a step up or a step down. If the difference, if the step itself is the same magnitude, the same reflection coefficient means the same number of particles will be reflected. Whether or not it's a step up or step down as long as there's a greater amount of energy in the particle than in either one of the regions as far as the step potential is. So there you go. It is possible even though it seems so incredibly impossible. That's the way it is in the quantum mechanic world.